Looking at one of the top predators on any rocky reef in Europe, the conger eel. And they rely on this amazing sense of smell. So they'll very quickly, the moment I open this... life, Francis... It's down there, it's like a dinner gong. And they'll hear the dinner gong and hopefully come rushing. Gloves today. Don't normally wear gloves. Being a top predator, the conger has razor-sharp teeth and a vice-like bite. They struggle like mad on the end of a fishing line and have got something of a reputation amongst divers. But I suspect that, like any wild animal, they'll only attack if they feel threatened. And I'm sure they won't see me as a threat. There we go! Look at that! Beautiful! Absolutely beautiful! Fantastic. These guys make an extraordinary journey. They're born deep in the ocean, thousands of miles away, and migrate to our shores, where they live for several years, four or five years. And then they head back to the deep ocean. And in the deep ocean, These congas are clearly used to people feeding them, but they wouldn't be here at all if the waters weren't extraordinarily rich in the first place. It's no wonder dolphins are a common sight round here. is one of the best dives I think I've ever done. Just superb. When you're nose to nose uh, with a big old conger, it's really special. They're incredibly gentle, aren't they? Yeah, very gentle. Really gentle, they, you know, just after the fish. Yeah, they are, and they're like a big puppy. Yeah. Lovely brown eyes looking back at you. Francis, thank you so much. Just <laughs> okay. fantastic, really, really good. Back in Roundstone, my aim is to spend as much time as possible on the water. It may sound blindingly obvious, but I won't see